Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So I am actually about to head out the door right now really quickly. It is 8 o'clock exactly and I'm going to film my childhood foods video today, the restaurant edition, because I already filmed a version where I made foods that my mom and dad used to make me at home and kind of reacted to them after not having them for a really long time. And I'm gonna do the same thing today, but with foods that I used to buy at restaurants that my parents would take me to. We had a couple restaurants that we just repeated kind of as a family, and I would get the exact same thing at these restaurants every single time we went. When I was a kid, I didn't branch out, and my favorite things were like chocolate, cheese, and peanut butter and that was it and if I had those things I bought it <laughs> and if not or I didn't buy it but I would eat it and if not I didn't try it so I'm really excited because when I did the other childhood foods video I loved all the foods that I tried and so my younger self had really good taste in food in my opinion so from what I remember these foods are really really good and so I'm really excited to react to them I guess again after once again I haven't had these foods in like 10 years. If you don't know much about me as a child, I was very chubby because I loved food. I mean, I still love food, but I used to eat so much as a kid and I was very chubby as a result of that. So I will insert pictures on the screen if you have not seen photos of me and all my childhood glory. I will insert those photos on the screen now. I am going to head to Jack in the Box first to get one of my favorite breakfast items of all time so i'm really excited for that and after that i have quite a few more places that i'm hoping to make it to today um so let's just get this day started i'm so hungry and i just went to jack in the box and i got a breakfast jack with no ham usually when i was younger i would have it with ham but i got it with no ham because i don't eat meat anymore and then I also got a hash brown. So what I do usually is it has cheese, egg, and then these buns. But I swear to God, it is so good. I actually have had this somewhat recently. This is like the only food. My mouth is like watering. <laughs> this is the only food that I'm going to try today that I've had somewhat recently. Because I had this last summer in one of my cheat days. So I already know it's going to be freaking amazing. And I'm starving right now. And then what I do is I take the hash brown. And I take one of the buns off and I put it in the middle like that. <laughs> you know that feeling when you're hungry and you take a bite of food and it just like everything feels right the second you taste the food uh-huh so good I've tried to recreate these at home and I just can't, like I don't know what it is, but it never tastes the same. So that was an easy, easy 10, like 10 out of 10 easily. I don't know why I haven't had those in more cheat days because that was like probably one of my favorite things that I've eaten as of late. So far the day is off to a good start. I'm really excited to see how the other food tastes. I actually have a dentist appointment now. What time is it? It's 9 o'clock, 9.06, so it's at 10, my dentist appointment. Oh shit, that's a long time. Um, I'm going to the dentist office that my mom works at, so the south end of Seattle has most of the food that I'm familiar with eating. Like, I feel like Seattle food is all kind of like too fancy for my young self and actually myself now. So it actually worked out perfectly because I'm already down here so I'm, I'm gonna be close to all the foods that I wanna eat. So I'm really excited after the dentist appointment I'm going to get lunch. So I will just see you guys then. Go. 
Hey guys, so I just left my mom's dental office and if I look kind of disheveled right now, I feel like I just had a teeth cleaning. I feel like whenever I get my teeth cleaned and my mouth is like open and like I'm just laying there for a long time, I always end up leaving looking super disheveled. So I don't even know what I look like right now. I'm assuming not the best, but we're just gonna ignore that and eat the food that I just got. So I just left this place called Azteca, which the cool thing about this Azteca is I used to go here all the time with my parents and also my grandparents and I don't know why it was just like our favorite restaurant. I think it was just a chain in Washington. I'm not sure if there's locations outside of Washington, but there's a couple in the south side of Seattle and this location that I just went to, I actually used to go to with my grandparents all the time. So I also took footage of, there's also a value village in the same parking lot as the Azteca and I used to go thrift shopping with my grandma there all the time and then we would go to Azteca and have lunch so <laughs> this is like crazy nostalgic for me I haven't been back to this Azteca in I don't know like 10 years maybe I used to literally always get the exact same thing first off I loved their chips so I got some tortilla chips which they also used to have the best bean dip to dip them in so this is the bean dip I remember it used to be so good, so I hope it's just as good as I remember it. I can't really tip it that much because it's going to spill, but it has, like, cheese on top of it, and then it's just refried beans. Oh my god, my mouth is watering. I also apologize for the fact that I think mm, maybe all this video is going to be filmed in my car because I'm not going to be home, like, all day today because I'm going to be going to different restaurants, and so I don't really have anywhere else to film it, but oh my god, I'm so excited. It just takes me like right back. That's so crazy. Oh my god, I used to down these. Like, I would be full before my meal would come because I would have so much beans and chips. And for food from Azteca. I always used to get the same things. Either I would get just plain rice and beans with tortillas, or I would get their cheese enchiladas. This is like a 9 out of 10, I would say. It tastes exactly like I remember it, which is crazy because I haven't been here in years, so... Mmm! And then for their cheese enchiladas, I got the crema kind. It's just like white cream sauce with cheddar cheese over two cheese enchiladas. And then this is the same rice and beans that I would get, but I would just get it as, if I wasn't gonna get the enchiladas, I would just get rice and beans as like a side. And then I would just wrap it in little flour tortillas. So <laughs> I'm so excited. Literally, I just liked cheese when I was younger, I think. Okay, so that is what it looks like. Hopefully that'll focus. Dude! Look at that. I don't know if you can see, but it has like all the sauce. I don't know what kind of sauce it is. They just call it like a cream sauce, but it's so good. And then for the rice and beans. It just like brings me back immediately. That's insane. And then this is their, I think this might be the same thing as their bean dip. Oh my gosh. So good. Okay, I'm just gonna have one more bite of the rice because I have a lot of food I wanna try today, so. Mmm, 
So I would say all around Azteca is going to be like a solid 9 easily. I would say 10, but it's not like as good as the Breakfast Jack, so I'm going to keep the Breakfast Jack at a 10. All this stuff is a solid 9. I still love my taste in food from when I was 10, so I'm just really, really excited to see how much I like the rest of the stuff I'm going to try today. So I'm going to go to the gym now, and then I will just see you guys when I try the next thing, which I'm really excited for the next thing, so... Okay, so I just left the gym somewhat recently. The gym that I went to, because I want to stay in like the south side of Seattle because that's where all the food is that I want to try today. So the gym I went to is in Kent. So now I'm at Kent Station, which is kind of like an outdoor mall type thing. Like they have a movie theater and stuff. I never spent that much time here um, as a kid or a teenager because we have, uh, I grew up in Auburn and there's like another mall in Auburn that I would go to, but I wanted to have two different things here because they have a Cold Stone and then they have a Johnny Rockets, which is where I just got these cheese fries from. But the girl at Cold Stone said that I couldn't film inside and so I was like, okay, well I'll just go to a different one because I really wanted to show you guys the different crazy flavors and stuff they have. So I'm going to go to a different Cold Stone, I think, and I'll just have the cheese fries now, which <sighs> I used to get these. <laughs> I used to get these with my grandma actually because she would take me back to school shopping for clothes every because my parents didn't have a lot of money and so she would pay for my back to school clothes and so she would take me back to school shopping in September and we would always go to this mall that had a Johnny Rockets in it and I would always get cheese fries. I would also get chicken fingers too but obviously I can't have those now so I'm just going to have these cheese fries which they look amazing <laughs> like come on. Hopefully that focuses. Oh my god. These are amazing. <laughs> They're better than I remember. They use, um, it tastes like they use cheddar cheese and nacho cheese. So it's like extra cheesy. Wow. I was actually really hungry too because I did legs. Okay, I'm gonna have one more bite. Okay, one more bite, actually. <laughs> These are too good. Mm. These are like an easy 8.5 out of 10. Now I'm going to go to Cold Stone, which is an ice cream place. And since I'm going to be at the mall, because that's where the other Cold Stone is, I'm going to get something else that I used to always get at the mall that they don't have here. So, yeah. They're both kind of desserty dessert-ish, which I'm obviously most excited for because I love dessert. So I will just see you guys when I have the food. Okay, so I finally made it to Cold Stone and I'm so excited to eat this right now. I forgot all the crazy stuff that they have to mix in. So I forget exactly what I used to get because I mean, it's been forever, but I know that it was chocolate peanut butter based. And so I got their chocolate cone, obviously. I was too slow to film the guy mixing it in because he was freaking fast. But um, basically what they do is like you choose your ice cream and then they mix in all the different stuff that the, you want with like these little 
I don't know, like utensils. I don't know how to describe it, but I got peanut butter, chocolate chips, brownies, oh, Heath bars, and Reese's. And so <laughs> it's just chocolate peanut butter themed. This literally kind of reminds me of the big sundae I just made. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. There used to be a cold stone right by my house in Federal Way. Actually, I think it's still there, but there used to be a cold stone right by my parents' house. And it was always a treat, like in the summer when we would go get this. This is so good. I haven't had cold stone in years. So it's different from like I guess toppings you would get because the toppings you get like at, when you get frozen yogurt are whole but they like chop these up so it's almost like like for example I got brownies in here and it's almost like the brownies are like little pieces in here instead of full on brownies. So it's almost kind of like you make your own ice cream. Wow. <laughs> now I'm gonna have some of the cone. I think I'm just gonna bite it. Oops. Another 10 for me. This is easily a 10. I want to come back here for a cheat day and get like maybe two different kinds of ice cream and different mixins that I haven't tried before. Mmm! Oh look, we got a little Reese's chunk. I'm kind of getting full though, so I'm going to take one more bite and make sure that it has peanut butter in it. Last bite. This is probably my favorite cheat day that I've filmed so far because everything has been so good and so nostalgic. I also used to finish all of this too, which I could probably still easily do, but I don't want to like save my appetite for the other stuff I want to eat but yeah I used to 10 years old down this and this is their love it size I think I used to get their gotta gotta have it size <laughs> which is even bigger anyways so this cold stone is by this mall called South Center which is like the biggest mall I think in Washington and so they also have an Auntie Anne's in the mall so I'm gonna go get Auntie Anne's and get whenever I used to go to the mall I always used to get this pretzel I'm not gonna say which kind yet but if you know my videos you probably can guess it <laughs> the South Center mall can be kind of a scary place so wish me luck but um, I'm gonna go into the mall and get a pretzel and yeah after that I think I only have one more place I will just see you guys there Okay, so I just successfully went to South Center and got an Auntie Anne's pretzel and I got the cinnamon sugar kind because that was like my favorite. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I don't think I've had one of these since middle school, at least. Because I don't think I had one in high school at all and there's no way that I had one in college, so yeah. At least middle school.
The amount of cinnamon sugar they put on here is just the best. Mmm. Tastes exactly like I remember. You can kind of see the butter on it too. It's like so buttery. Mm. My hands are like. <laughs> so cinnamon sugary. Okay, so I only have one more place left, I think, but it was a childhood staple. Like, I know for a fact I've not had it since. Forever, so I'm really excited to try it out, but I'm gonna go home first and shower because I feel gross because I've been like sitting in my sweat for a while and so I'm gonna go home and shower and then Go get my dinner, I guess which I'm excited for it. So I'll just see you guys then. I'm passing the cheesecake factory as I leave Which is probably the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my entire life because I want their cheesecake, but my dumb ass didn't discover it until I think high school, so bye-bye. Hey guys, so it's a little bit later now. Actually, it's quite a, quite a bit later now. I think it's like 8.30. Um, and I went home, took a shower and everything. There was just like a ton of traffic getting back to Seattle, so it just took me forever. But I just went to Taco Time, as you can see, and I got, I used to get two things. I would always get their crispy burrito. So it's basically, I used to get their beef one, I think, but I got pinto bean this time, but it's basically just like a flour tortilla and then they have cheddar cheese in it and pinto beans and then they fry it. And then I also got their, which <laughs> I was laughing when I saw this. I ordered the size small thinking it would be like a normal size, but their size small is literally really small. So I ordered their, Mexi fries or tater tots, which I remember these being so good, so. And then I always used to dip them in sour cream. So this is what the burrito looks like. Mmm. This whole day has been so nostalgic because I literally feel like I just ate these. I kind of did the same thing with the tater tots that I did with the hash browns at Jack in the Box. Is that I always like eat them together. Some guacamole. Okay, last bite. Mm. So that was nine out of 10, eight and a half maybe, really good. So that was my last stop of the day. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I loved filming this video. This is probably my favorite video that I filmed so far. So yeah, I just really hope you guys enjoyed it and that you liked following me around and eating my childhood foods with me. And yeah, I will just see you in my next video.